Lundo at the Lee Pet University. Today we're going to be showing you a fifth grade day academy skill for individual. It's the crate game skill. But this level we're actually going to require them to go into their crate on the verbal cue crate. Um, this one, just like all of our other verbal cues, should not have a hand cue associated with it. So while fourth grade we point it in, for this I should be completely still. I shouldn't be making any kind of body motions. I should be able to calmly say crate. The dog run in immediately. Stay all the way on the inside of the crate. I'll click, toss a cookie in, and they're more than welcome to come right back out. Um, just like with fourth grade, if you've seen the video, I have the door propped open so that way it's not going to close on her once she goes in and it's not going to hit her as she's going in. If you're practicing this at home and you have a dog that's over exuberant, sometimes putting a piece of tape on the front of the wire crate will keep the dog from actually hitting it with their feet or getting their foot stuck. Um, it's usually the very exuberant dogs that just run right in and they don't really seem to realize that there's actually a hole there. So if you're working on this at home, it's just an extra safety tip that you can use. Um, so without further ado, I sh I'll show you what this should look like with the dog. Pass the break. Sit. I might do a verbal cue of sit or down right before just so I can make sure they're responding to their correct cue. Pass the break. She went in, so I click. Toss my treat in. Break. And she's allowed to come back out. Pass the break. Thank you so much and happy training.